Guys, my name is Zach Longo and I am back. My mustache is back. We are back with another YouTube video. And a lot of you guys are always fucking asking me. Do a tattoo explanation video on this and that. And some of you are like, Yo, you and your bro got those fucking tats writings. You guys look like a walking newspaper. You look like a fucking sticker book. Or you got the Drake tattoos. All right, shut up. Let's go back to the beginning. My first tattoo I got when I was like 16 years old. It was a big family coat of arms done by an artist in Etobicoke, Toronto by the name of Eugene Tatarama. It was my first tat, traditional style, thick, bold lines, and I went large. Tried to uh, hide that tattoo from my parents. I got booked the fucking same day I got it. After that, um, I didn't think I was gonna ever get any more tattoos. And then as I got older, I started getting, you know, a couple tattoos when I would travel. Like I went to Australia, in Sydney, Australia. I got some script on my arm. Explore Dream Discover is like the fucking male version of uh, infinity symbol. Then I went back to LA and I live close to some, you know, pretty famous tattoo shops. And one of them, I decided I wanted to get a fucking maple leaf outline. Got this shitty maple leaf outline. I still have it on my arm, which actually been a conversation starter for me all over the world when I'm traveling. People are always like, oh, you're Canadian. I thought you were some douchebag from America. Turns out I'm just a douchebag from Canada. Those are my first few tats. Then I started, you know, Instagram became a thing and you, you could really spot talent. So I was like looking for better tattoo artists. And I really started to like that single needle, like Dr. Wu style that had became so popular from a guy named Mark Mahoney. Mark Mahoney owns Shamrock, famous tattoo shop on Sunset Boulevard. He did like David Beckham and all types of celebrities. Single needle or fine line is a tattoo style with like just one needle. Most tattoo guns are using like three and up and that's where like darker lines come in but with single needle it's just one thin needle so the detail is sharp and it can be really small or really big but it's a very specific style. It's definitely become more popular over the years and that's you know, for me, I always wanted tattoos, but I could never pick one image to fucking blast on like my, on my arm. So I started doing little pieces one by one. First ever single needle piece was on my forearm here. It was done by an artist named Winterstone who's really blown up. He's done tons of celebrities, really known for his fine line work. Uh, for my cottage, that's our symbol at the cottage. After him, I went to Shamrock actually and got this globe on my forearm from a guy named, uh, by a guy named Max Hansen. Another fucking really talented artist. But uh, let's skip over all that bullshit and get to the real good stuff. So about three, four years ago, I was on Instagram and I was searching, you know, tattoos. And I uh, clicked on this hashtag for Fornicetti, which is like a famous Italian piece of artwork that is commonly tattooed. Went down the Instagram rabbit hole and landed on this really fucking amazing artist. He went by now and uh, I DM'd him or I emailed him because he fucking ignored my DM and I made an email appointment with him and uh, I sent a picture of my dog, my Great Dane, which I had waited years to do because I could never find an artist that I thought could really capture that. You know, you see a portrait sometimes of someone's dog. It looks like Stevie Wonder tattooed it or some shit. And the tattoo, I came in to do it. To this day, he is one of my closest friends. His name is Noah Arthur Lee. You know him as now, I know him as Noah. And to this day, he's one of the best tattoo artists I've ever seen and I'm honored to call the guy my friend and to let him mark up my entire body. Almost all of my tattoos are done by him. A lot of the stuff you'll see on my arms. Uh, my dad was in a band when he was younger with his brothers. They had an album cover, they had some fucking bangers. And we took their first album cover, which was a portrait of the three of them, and we did it on my side here. And then, fuck, there's so many tattoos on my arm, but pretty much all of them. And I'm not gonna sit here and make like a 10 hour video about the fucking meanings or the fake meanings behind all my tattoos. Some of them have meanings, some of them I got off Pinterest, and some of you can suck my dick if you got a problem with it. Besides Noah, Noah's my boy, love him to death. Noah, if you're watching, I love you. Toronto soon, large. The same day I met Noah, I met one of, you know, his closest friends who's become a close friend of mine, Kalik, AKA Leek from the wood. Leek started tattooing a few years ago. He's also the only other guy I let pretty much tattoo on me. Leek's done a lot of the stuff on my chest, chest pieces, arms. I, I trust these guys to do anything. So at Leek from the Wood, and uh, if you wanna make an appointment with these guys, I highly recommend just go through uh, email it's in their bio. Don't try to DM them. Tattoo artists fucking hate that. They won't respond. You guys are welcome for that. <clears throat> Kalik has done a lot, ton of my pieces too. He's done the fucking Sunset Boulevard, the Butterfly, the Pizza, the Skeleton. 
I, honestly, guys, I have so many different tattoos, and yeah, they all do have different meanings, and some of them have no meaning at all. So I'm not, you know, I already said this. I ain't gonna sit here and go through all. And then one more artist that you may have heard of, who is a friend of mine also, is Daniel Silva. Daniel's work is amazing, but yeah, shout out to Daniel Silva. Miss you, buddy. Like when it comes to tattooing, don't rush into getting a tattoo. Always figure out who the fuck the artist is. Be familiar with their work, because even the tiniest little tattoo, like I have a little, I've gotten tattoos removed. I've gotten fucking, I had this one on my leg, look like a tramp stamp. It was gone, I put a clip of that right now. Um, I had one on the top of my foot. It was my dog's paw print, it looked like a fucking piece of broccoli. So I was rushing. No matter how small and simple the design is, they can fuck it up. They can go too hard in your skin, they can scar it. It can be blown out, it could be warped. So in this day and age, there's a lot of talented tattoo artists out there. And uh, just do your research. Don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. I'm a Prius. If you guys really want a tattoo video of me explaining every single fucking tattoo, I will. Yeah, the traveling tattoo thing seems like a good idea at first, but be careful in your other countries. You don't need fucking hepatitis, getting an elephant, poking stick and stick and poke tattoo in fucking Thailand. Like, just wait till you get back. Find an artist, let them do all the work. It's on you for the rest of your life. So spend the money, find someone you're happy with, and uh, yeah, and nothing's permanent. You can fucking erase anything, but you're just gonna have to spend more money getting it removed. I don't know what else to tell you. If you guys wanna know anything else about my tattoos, just fucking comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. If not, okay, bye.